Slow power station can go from standstill to full output of 152 meg in five minutes. It's enough to power 80,000 homes. And to put that in perspective here, that is equivalent to 18 tonnes of water per second coming through the station. 18 tonnes of water per second? It's the same weight as a full CityLink bus per second. Wow. Welcome to Sloy Power Station on the bonny bonny banks of Loch Lomond in Scotland. If you live in Great Britain, it's one of the reasons you're able to watch this video, charge your phone or car and heat your home. But how does it actually work? Sloy Power Station is our, our largest hydro, conventional hydro power station in our fleet um, and fundamentally takes energy from a body of water um, from an elevated height through a tunnel down the penstocks, through the turbine, where it generates electricity to the grid. And it seems really simple, is it? It's generally as simple as that, yes. So where does the water come from if it doesn't come from the loch? The water comes from the rain and our natural catchment up in the mountains. A lot of that is some of the natural burns, um, some of the, the ditches we have where we all collect the water. And that's the advantage of being in the west coast of Scotland? Absolutely. It's, uh, Sloy is one of the wettest places in the UK uh, and our catchment stretch is 80 square kilometres. Hydro is Scotland's original renewable energy and Ian and his team are in charge of keeping SSE's fleet of hydro stations running. Inside the turbine hall, the team are busy completing a planned maintenance outage. One of the reasons this power plant has continued to provide reliable electricity for decades and will for many more to come because hydro is a growing industry and it's attracting a new generation of engineers. You could have worked for any company, why a renewables company? What's so interesting about that? I feel like renewable energy will be here for a long time, which makes me feel like I've got a lifetime role and I play a big part in progressing to the future that the planet deserves. Tell me about hydro though. Is this an industry you can see a long-term future in? Hydro is interesting because of all the water, especially in Scotland, there's constant rain and it's really interesting to see how the rain can actually benefit the electricity generation. It was interesting getting into the energy industry, particularly renewables, because there's a future there and uh, working close to home is just a bonus because it means obviously cut down on commute times and uh, yeah, I get to do what I enjoy closer to home. Sloy was actually built to power the industrial region of the Clyde and on the back of Sloy as well there was two other power stations further west up north and that was used to um, power the highlands. It is old technology, I mean Sloy's been running for almost 80 years now but it's never been more important than now. Um, when the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine we we'll use power stations, hydro power stations like Sloy to supplement the grid and balance the grid to ensure businesses and the public have power. 80 years on, Hydro's future has never looked brighter. But why? Because we build more and more technologies like wind and solar, we need to back them up for the days when the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine. And that means we need more flexible power stations like Sloy, able to switch on quickly when the country needs it most. Sloy is the biggest conventional hydro scheme in the UK. It has a very low load factor, so it only runs about 10% of the time. It's our most flexible asset and it's been considered for pump storage since about 1951. We looked at a scheme to convert it to pump storage between about 2010 and 2012, and given the penetration of flexible renewables onshore and offshore wind into the market, we are looking at another project now to install up to 100 megawatts of pumping um, to work in tandem with the generating units at Sloyd Power Station. Ian, we've heard today that Hydro has had a really important part in powering the country in the past. What about the future? Hydro's there to provide that base load to make sure the lights don't go off. Using our natural resources, it's got a huge and a significant part to play and it's never been more important as we all try to achieve net zero. And so, happy birthday Hydro. You've served us well for 80 years, but we've never needed you more.